Hi TVO, my name is Evan. I'm a paramedic in the GTA area. Hi, my name is Lily and I'm a primary care paramedic. My wife and I are gonna show you what it looks like to be frontline healthcare workers in a pandemic. Like a few months ago, you're asking, I've had entire shifts where every single patient was tested COVID positive. Just 12 hours a shift, seven days straight, it, it takes a toll on you. The last time that I saw her was three days ago, so Thursday night before I put her to bed and today's Sunday, so I haven't seen her for three days um, and I won't be able to see her until Thursday when I go and pick her up from our wonderful daycare. Good morning, it's Monday, first day of my week, uh, first day shift. I'm gonna be dropping off Allison at our nannies, that's what I call her, uh, it's the best way to describe it. Uh, instead of the nanny coming to live with us, she, Allison, ends up staying there for a couple days at a time. Normally double medic or double shift worker parents, normal child care centers, just, they just don't work at all. Um, so usually they have to work opposite schedules where one person's always at home and one person's always at work. Uh, it's a little tough for the marriage. I'm going to go drop her off, start my first day, set of day shifts. Hi there again, just finishing up my dinner cooking, prepping for tonight. Um, tonight's dinner, creamy mushrooms and spinach pasta, vegan. I should be heading upstairs to get myself ready for work and hopefully I can catch up in four or five minutes when he comes home. There was this fear and this feeling that we were kind of being left on, out on our own, really, for the pandemic. And uh, it just kind of felt like an inevitability that we were all gonna get COVID at some point because we didn't have the right protections. Some paramedics were even sending their kids away to stay with family members so that they didn't bring COVID home to their kids. Uh, it was really heartbreaking to see in the beginning. I feel like as a society, we call people heroes and we don't wanna provide them the same protections as other workers or just kind of treat them the way they should be treated. Being called a hero, it's, it's, I struggle with it because I just want to be working a safe job. I just want to work a safe job and be treated appropriately. My everyday job is to be at your worst state of your life and to help you, to help you cope, to help you de-stress, to help your family cope and to take you to the hospital and get you the treatment that you need. So we seen a lot of the worst things of the worst that nobody else would you know, ever have the opportunity to see. So we do take a brunt end of it, even mentally and physically. I know myself, I've been working for 12 years now. I've had a lot of good um, mechanisms in place to build resilience to make sure that this you know, type of injury doesn't happen to me. And I just got off the phone um, to book my very first therapy appointment. Um, in the last month or so, I've been having a lot of critical calls um, that have been affecting me uh, slowly. Um, like raindrops in a bucket is the way I say it. And at some point, the bucket overfills. Just about to pick up my daughter. It's been a week. Let's see what they're up to. Hi. <laughs> Allison, who's on who's on the phone? Who's on the phone? Who are you talking to? Is that Agong? It's been almost a year and a half since I seen my parents and I'm pretty much just counting on the days that um, the 
the government changes its international traveling rules and Taiwan changes its traveling rules. And as soon as the borders are open, we're fully vaccinated. And then now I will probably be booking the first ticket back so I could see them. Good morning. It's uh, Friday morning. It's the first time we've been together as a family for over a week now. But we're all together having breakfast. We got some eggs and avocado, our coffees. Allison's got some homemade cinnamon bread and some eggs. You want to say hi? Hi. Okay. And milk. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, you got your milk. And Lily's got her latte and her eggs as well. Hi there. Uh, we're all going up to visit some friends today. The uh, stay-at-home orders ended during the week. Uh, We've had to cancel plans on our friends multiple times the last few months because of all this COVID stuff. Um, so they invited us up to go boating today. Uh, super exciting. Uh, with COVID, healthcare workers, um, generally for us, we feel a lot more comfortable hanging out with other medics, friends from work, and other healthcare workers. Uh, we know that um, none of us play around with COVID. We know the risks. We know how to stay safe. Um, and like today, actually, we've most of us have been double vaccinated. Um, going as far back as January. So for anybody out there who hasn't been vaccinated, please strongly consider it. Uh, the faster all of us get vaccinated, the faster everything goes back to normal. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is made possible through generous philanthropic contributions from viewers like you. Thank you for supporting TVO's journalism.